Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Marilyn and I would like to share with you some of my cross stitching projects or actually all of them, the ones that I'm working on. I have some finishes and I have some new starts and I have some plans. I also have haul, but we'll leave that the haul for the very end. Anyway, let me start off with my fully finished item and it's over here. Oops. So this is a chart or pattern that I got on Etsy. It's from, it's from Michelle. Mama loves you, GB. I think I said that right. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a really fun stitch and you get to use up some of your buttons from your button collections. So I do recommend this pattern. It was stitched on 14 count. I think this was the DMC natural. And what I did was I didn't use the numbers that she charted. I used um, the birth years of members in my family. So my husband, my children, myself, my parents, and my in-laws. I also stitched the year that I finished. So I finished this last year, but I forgot to share it. So I wanted to make sure that it was the first thing that I shared with everyone. I'm really proud of it. I love it. It was fun to stitch. I love stitching pieces with just one color because you don't have to think. You can just stitch along and you just enjoy the whole process. I, I'm, I don't enjoy changing color very much, so I prefer stitches that are just monochromatic. Yes, just one color. Anyway, um, I have, oh, I have a finish, a UFO finish. So this piece, and let's see if I find the pattern. Okay, so this I started, I want to say I started this in 2021. I think, I can't remember. And I don't have my, the information. I, you know, I came over here without all of the information I needed. I, sometimes I think of writing things, but then I forget where I put them. So anyway, it's this one. It's a fresh cut and this is a stitch quarterly pattern. So I'm not a, a member of the stitch quarterly uh, patterns, but they had extras and what I did was I purchased it and it came with everything in here and I used everything that was in the kit so the floss I didn't change anything the fabric and what fabric is this because it was I love the fabric so bisque from color and cotton it's 14 count Ada it was so nice to stitch. And I am happy that it's done. So I plan to finish this. I purchased the little hanger. I think it's the way that um, Kimberly Jolly, she had a tutorial on how to finish this. And so if I'm not mistaken, I purchased the other supplies that I would need. And so I will have to watch the video again to finish it. That is my, what was this? I think this was my first finish of the year and it was a UFO. So that's two checks. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. I don't like having, I have enough UFOs in my quilting world <laughs> and in my doll making and in miniature. I didn't want, I don't want to keep adding more UFOs, especially not from cross stitch. And that is why I have always kept my stitching to about maybe three to five projects because there's always going to be something that you're, you know, not going to want to finish for one reason or another, just like this next project. I love this next piece. I love it to pieces, but I am strictly an Ada stitcher and well this I didn't know I didn't realize 
it was gonna have specialty stitches like I think what are they there's if I'm not mistaken it's a quarter and three quarter stitches so I was not enjoying that and I did finish so I finished the center everything in the middle and I, I started this in 2019 and when I started, st after I stitched the spools, that was three quarter stitches, I had enough of all those specials, you know. So I, you know, I, I stitched a few of the houses, but this year I wanted to get, I wanted to finish all of my UFOs in January. And it was this one and the fresh cut. Well, I got the first row done and then then I was done. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get back to it and finish it. It's a beautiful piece and I can't wait to display it on my wall where my sewing machines are at. And that's where I hang a lot of my bright colored cross stitch because they make me happy. So, and everything there has that, you know, they're bright and vibrant colors. So I love, I want to put this there. I even purchased the frame I bought that frame already. I have it. I just need to finish stitching it. Maybe I should, you know, make it a goal to finish it by give myself a due date. That would be nice. I'm going to think about that. Maybe that'll encourage me, motivate me to finish it. We'll see. Okay, so I have, yes, I have another UFO that I wanted to get to. I wanted to stitch and I would consider this more of a whip versus a UFO because it I started this last year and to me if it's within a year I consider it more as a whip. If it's more than a year then it's a UFO because you haven't touched it in a while. And this one I haven't touched in a in a little bit so yeah it's getting there it's gonna be a ufo pretty soon so but anyway it's um the scarlet house hannah's brownstone and i wanted to finish what i wanted to accomplish in january was just this side but i didn't this is all i have and i don't think i stitched much on this piece i i need to get back to it It's beautiful, and I want to display it in my living room. With uh, I have a wall of they're not antiques, but there are these are older uh, samplers and cross stitch pieces that I've found at thrift shops or antique shops, and I am displaying them because you know I want to honor the stitcher, and so I have in my living room a wall full of those pieces in honor of them. I think I found, and one of them I did find at a garage sale. So I'm always, I always have my eyes open whenever I go antiquing or thrifting or just looking for treasures. I'm always looking for cross stitch. I even have my son looking for them. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted, to, I thought this would be cute with all of the other ones, but I just want to get half of the house done and I will be thrilled if I get that done by I don't know, my birthday in May sometime. Anyway, now let's get to something, my plans. So I showed you my finishes and well, I still have some other finishes, but that those are part of a plan that I have. So every, uh, I've watched a lot of floss tubes and I have noticed that a lot of people, they have these samplers for their birthday. This, their birthday start samplers or, you know, and sometimes there's stitch alongs and sometimes, you know, so people start something really cool and fun for their birthday year. Well, last year I turned 50, but I didn't do anything like that. And I always find that it's hard for me to upload a floss to because I don't really have much to share. And it's always, I'm usually stitching on one project and it's just not as fun to see one project and that's it, right? 
So I thought it would be fun to do something, you know, to step out of my comfort zone and yes, and start 51 projects because I'm going to be 51 this year, right? So I figured I would start a project for each year of my life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm crazy. I know. But what I decided was that not all the projects would be big ones. There would be lots of smalls involved. And I started kidding some because I've purchased. And one of the reasons I decided to do this is because I have purchased quite, yeah, I have a small collection of patterns and I need to motivate myself to stitch them. I bought them because I like them, I love them, and I wanna stitch them, but I keep, more patterns keep showing up and I wanna just, every time I watch floss tube, I want another pattern and another one, and I just need to start. And not only that, I, watching a floss tube, I can't remember whose floss tube it was. Someone said, and I am so sorry because I cannot remember who it was, uh, she said that you cannot have a finish if you don't have a start. And that is so true. And I want to have all of these projects. I want to have all those cross stitches that I have acquired. I want those patterns finished. I want to, I want them to be stitched so I can display them and enjoy them. But you know what? If I don't start them, they're never going to get finished. So I figured why not do 51 starts? That would be fun. And so I started stitching some and I started gathering all the supplies that I needed, my patterns, the floss, and I realized I ran out of project bags. I started using the little bags that they come in and I was putting the floss in here and the fabric. But once you start stitching it, this is not gonna do, right? So I decided I can either purchase 51 project bags, which, yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I have tons of supplies here. So what I decided to do was to make project bags. And I took, I went looking in my sewing room and I found a piece of fabric that I had used to learn how to machine quilt on my domestic. And I never did anything with it. So, you know, I folded it, I stitched it up, and I created a project bag. And so, and I put a lining here to cover the ugly stitching on the back side of this piece. So, yay. Well, those that know me know that I cannot stop at one bag. <laughs> Let me show you. So I, I'm a long armor. I'm a long arm quilter. And I quilt, well, not only that. So I, I make quilts and I have leftovers of backing. So on my long arm, I loaded scraps of fabric that I had from projects that I've done and I created more bags and so I made different sizes and this one and what I did was I measured to see if the patterns would fit and it fits perfect it's not and I can fit in here I think well I keep my hoops in another bag with my scissors but I can fit the fabric here and the pattern and floss so that's a small one then I made one that was a little bit bigger. And then I made another one. And another one. And this one, I love the fabric on the inside. I, I wish I could make it. How cool is that? And then I made another one. And another one. And this one here, I machine quilted on my long arm. And this one, I machine quilted on my domestic. And I made another one. And another one. And I love the inside of 
Some of them are so cool. And here's one of my favorite. <laughs> and look at the fabric. And another one. And I even made a little itty bitty purse. This was the leftovers. When I trimmed this bag down, I had some fabric, so I made a little tiny. <laughs> so, and I have tons of other uh, pieces of fabric that I have quilted. I have more on the long arm. So I am planning to make 51 bags. I am not just gonna make 51 stitch projects. I'm gonna make 51 bags to go with my projects. Now, all of them are not going to be like this. I'm going to make some that have the vinyl. I have one around here. So I'm going to make some like this. But these, I felt like, take more time. And I needed to get started. So these were faster and easier to make. And so now I have some project bags to get me started. Now, let me share with you the projects that I have started and I think I have I didn't count I think there are about seven starts and some of them I've already finished here is like I said I'm gonna have smalls and I'm planning to have lots of smalls so this is one of the ones that I started and finished and then I also I'm planning to cross stitch all the ones in this book so there are five I think you can make a seventh one if you use um, I think the one in here that has the little buttons that's kind of like the extra that is this little tomato up here from this one but I am definitely gonna make all of them. And here's one of my finish from this book. And I used here, it's the, it's 14 count oatmeal, Lori Holt. So it's Lori Holt's um, 14 count and it's in oatmeal. So that's two finishes. I also have, okay. I have, I, I've been collecting these magazines forever. I have, I have some and you know, I started collecting them when they first came out and then, and then I, you know, I didn't buy all of them, but nonetheless, because I used to do a lot of punch needle and that's why I would buy them. But then I got into cross stitch. And so here is, what I'm doing now so I loved I decided to go through these magazines because truthfully I haven't made anything from these from any of them I just love looking at them they're so inspiring but I decided you know I should make stuff these are beautiful patterns they're small they why not right so I saw these and I just fell in love with them and this, these are from, oh, hello from Liz, Liz Matthews. And this is the one that I'm working on. So, and again, I'm using 14 count Ada. So that was another start. So that's what, that's number three. I also started, and this one is number four. I started this because I wanted to have, I don't have um, patriotic or, you know, very many holiday kind of cross stitch. So I started this one. And I'm also using Lori Holt's 14 count oatmeal. And for this one, I changed the red and blue flosses. When I was looking through my floss bins and I got the red that it called for, I felt that it was too dark. I, I wanted something that was a little bit brighter. 
And when I changed the red, I had to change the blue because then the red that I picked didn't really go with the blue, I think. I can't remember now. And I have all my cards, they're everywhere. <laughs> all right, so I said that was one, two, three. That was my fourth start, right? Okay, I have, here's another start. It's Lovebirds. And this is to put in a little box, but I don't have that box. So I don't know how it's gonna be, how I'm gonna finish it or have it finished. I have thought that maybe I can frame it and have a little tiny piece. I love those small cross stitch pieces and these big chunky frames. I thought that might be fun. Or maybe I'll turn it into a, a little pillow or even a drum, that would be fun. So here is my start. And I need to get back to it. I wanna finish, I wanna get the outside done. And so I need to get back to that. So that was number five, right? Okay. Was it five? No, that was four. One, two, three, four. Oh no, five. Wow, five. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so, hello. I love Lori Holt. So, of course, I had to stitch some Lori Holt. And I love doing fill work. And that's why I really enjoy stitching these. And this is what I have so far. I'm outlining the camper. So then I can fill it while I watch a movie or floss tube. <laughs> and I am also using Lori Holt's 14 count oatmeal. <laughs> and I said, so that is number six, right? One, two, three. Yep, that's number six. Okay, I have. And then I have another start. It's also Lori Holt. So the, these um, last two are Lori Holt. And I've had these patterns. Well, this one I got it a little while ago. And I've been wanting to stitch it, but it just hasn't happened. But I love doing fill work. And so there's lots of that here. And so I decided I should just start stitching it since I'm starting 51 projects. And this is, oops, this is what I have so far. This is Ada that I had in my stash, 14 count. It looks like it's, it's a white. So I think I've gotten pretty far. Now, on this one, oh my goodness, I had stitched the pink, but I used the wrong color. It was like, oh, I just pulled a thread. Darn. All right, anyway, so I had to rip all the pink and use the darker pink. And now I have to fix, like accidentally pulled a little thread. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> okay. So, and I have one more, one more start. I, okay, so this I purchased when the stitch along started. And if I'm not mistaken, that was in January that it started of 2022. So that means it was available at the end of 2021. I can't remember. Yeah, I think so. Well, as soon as it became available, I purchased it. I kitted the whole thing up. I was gonna start the stitch along. But then I became overwhelmed with all of that border. You know, the buffalo check or gingham or whatever we wanna, I'm not sure what. But the thought of stitching that was just so overwhelming. And I just, I, I couldn't at that moment, like my brain was just not gonna focus. But 
like that one floss tuber said, which I am so sorry, I can't remember your name. <laughs> if you don't start, you'll never finish, right? So you have to start something to get it finished. And so I decided with those words, I decided to start and this is what I have so far. I'm really excited. Now my goal is is to finish stitching all the border so that hopefully I don't know probably maybe June I can start stitching the insides of the the squares but truthfully it's my cross stitch so if I get tired of stitching the border, I'll just start stitching one of the squares. I mean, come on. I've been dying to stitch that sewing machine. <laughs> so why not? Maybe I'll just do that. Because, hey, it's my cross stitch, right? <laughs> I can stitch it in whichever way I want. And I think, I think I might do that. Oh my gosh, I love that sewing machine. Come on, look at that. <gasps> that is so cool. Oh man, I love that. So those are my starts. And I think, I think there was eight. I can't remember. I lost track of how many I've started. But that's eight starts that I have so far. I need to do some more kidding. I am planning to finish more of these fun bags that I'm making so that I can have all of these pieces, you know, all of these um, cross stitch patterns kitted and I could just start stitching on them. I, I don't know how long I'm gonna stitch on each one, but I think it would be fun to kind of like keep some for for, um, what is it, Stitch Mania in May, because hey, my birthday's in May, so why not leave a few of them for me and then I can I'll have them all ready and I can start stitching you know one a day until my birthday or I'm not sure how I'm gonna you know attack this beast that I am creating here <laughs> but I my goal is just to have fun and to have something to share with you because I, that's the reason I come I just want to have fun with my friends and just sharing projects and just sitting around and talking with you for a little bit. It just makes everything so much more fun. But before I go, I want to share you some of the fun things that I have gotten. I'm not going to share everything because uh, yeah, it's a little embarrassing. And truthfully, as soon as I get things, I like to put them away and it's been driving me crazy to have these patterns in this bin. I like to put my threads in the thread container like here. I, I keep my Aura Floss boxes in one of these and, and I have different threads and flosses here. And I like to, as soon as I get them, I get my mail and I put everything away. So I put my patterns where they should go and I like to immediately either kit them or whatever. So holding on to these pieces has been very hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna show some things to you. Oh, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I have here. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so I love shopping at Fat Quarter Shop, one of my favorite places. I always love when they have their, um, what is it, flash sales? And so when they have things on flash sale or, you know, patterns, just... So when I watch a floss tube, I immediately go to the Fat Quarter Shop or 123 Stitch and... Or if they don't have it, I go to other places and I purchase the patterns. See, that's my problem. I need to slow down <laughs> on the purchasing. It's getting bad. Anyway, and, and I told myself in the very beginning, I am not going to let that happen to me. I'm not going to be the one that's going to have all this cross-stitch fabric. <laughs> sure. Okay, anyway. 
So I bought this Aura Floss pack. It was on sale, so I figured why not? I have to, I love Aura Floss. I'm not sure how it opens, but that was one of my purchases. I also purchased some fabric and this is 16 count because I feel like I've graduated to 16 count. So I like stitching with two flosses, with two, yeah, with two strands because I use the loop method. So it's, it's two, two strands of floss. And 16 count, I think, is right now probably the smallest count I can go using two flosses over one, you know. So anyway, I thought these were really cute. So, and I love um, fiber on a whim. I love the softness. And so here's the interesting, I bought sand and I didn't realize I bought sand and I bought some more sand, but they both look different. So that's cool you see? because they're hand dyed. And I thought this would be really cute to stitch some Valentine's projects on it. I also bought some extra floss. I bought, I had the book to stitch this. It's the, the quilt book. And at the end, it has a cross stitch pattern. So I bought the floss for that. I've been wanting to stitch it for a while, but I, I just haven't. And I had the, the stitchograph and I think it's quiltograph. I don't remember but it requires the same pack and you needed to get another pack if you're gonna do both of them. So you needed two floss packs. So I got a second one for it. I also bought, ooh, more fabric. And this one is for, I don't, oh, oh, I have more stuff down here. Hmm, I've been a naughty girl. So this is for, can I find it? Yes, so I ordered this book and I wanted to see how it would look on this fabric. I'm sure I'm gonna need more, but that's okay. I also purchased, I got this Stacy Nash. Make these adorable little pillows. How cute is that? And I went to, when was it? I can't remember what day of the week it is anymore. I went, was it? I think it was last week. I went to um, Stitches Unlimited. I think that's the name. It's in Lancaster. And I bought some things and this is one of the patterns I purchased there. The other pattern I I kitted up and I have it somewhere upstairs, but I will show, I figured um, once I have all my 51 projects, well, minus the eight that I've already stitched, um, all those projects kitted, maybe I'll do another floss tube and I'll share them with you so you can see what I'm stitching. I also, here's another, this is a Blackbird design. I thought this is really cute. And this would be fun to do as one of my one of my starts. And also, I thought this fabric would look really cute, right? I don't know. Tell me what you think. I think that would look really cute. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, I am falling in love with all of Liz Matthews' patterns. And so I bought this sampler. And because we need more Blackbird, blah, 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 more Blackbird designs. Really cute. 
And what else? Oh, so here I have this one and okay, and I got some floss drops, right? Floss bitties. And I also bought some quilting fabrics. And I think some of these quilting ba fabrics are from the Fat Quarter Shop and some of them are from Missouri Star Quilt. I can't remember which I purchased where. And I have some more, they're just somewhere back there. Like I, I said earlier, I usually tend to put things away as soon as I get them, or at least I try. Not always, but I try. <laughs> but here's a charm pack. I got a fat quarter tower and I should have opened this before I started filming and I'm not going to open it now because it's going to make all this crinkly sound and, and this video is getting really long, but I thought maybe I can make project bags with these fat quarters because that's what I've been using fat quarters to make the project bags I'm making. And I got two jelly rolls. I also, oh my gosh, this is bad. <laughs> These are some other charts I got. Oops. So I want to make ornaments. I want, this is my thought. So I can count each one of these as one start, right? So this book has 12 starts. Oh my goodness. Where is the other book? Ah! Between these two, that's 24 starts. Hey, <laughs> I'm no dummy. I know that I, I, I want to finish some of these projects and these, I think I can finish. Okay. And I want, I want to stitch this really bad. I really want to stitch it. It's beautiful. I love the colors. And, oh, and this one, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I've been enjoying Annie B's. I've been enjoying their floss too, but they are so funny. I can just sit there and watch over and over. They crack me up. I love them. <laughs> and I think the last thing I have here, because everything's been put away, but the last thing I have to share and to show you is this, oh my gosh, where was it that I got it? The stitch and, the, the stitch and, the, the kitten stitcher. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Teresa? I don't remember. Anyway, so, Teresa Colgett, she did a exclusive for her, and this is the pattern. So I immediately ordered the entire kit. So this is the floss, and I am stitching mine on 18 count. And I don't know which, I don't know the name of the fabric or the, I mean, the fabric or the color, because I didn't really look. I just saw it right now next to me. But yeah, this is gonna be beautiful. And it, you know what the cool part is? And it comes with a needle minder. How cute. Look, they match. How cool is that? And everything is here. So I don't even have to kit it. It's already done. Maybe this should be one of my stars. That would be really cool. And there's lots of fill work and I love to do fill work. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I forgot to share, but that's okay. I'll save it for next time. I hope you have a wonderful day and don't forget to keep on stitching. Bye.